Die. Die. Leeches. Way scarier than everything else so far. Prawn suits. Dawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will huh. have to make do with self-discipline. Wow. Oh, it's sinking. It's sinking really fast. Last time on Subnautica, we found a new depth max for Jen, I guess. We went to maybe 850 meters. Still not that far. We found another giant leviathan skeleton. And... We got, um, nickel was a new material we found. And th it was really hot. There were these volcanic vents that we were walking around trying to kind of scavenge for resources around those. Um, we listened, was last time when we listened to the radio message? Yeah, and it was like an alien message, so that was cool. Hi, Leon, welcome, and it's good to see you. We made a, a power cell recharger, which is very helpful for the Defiant. Oh, and I have torpedoes now! So this is recharging power cells, which is a beautiful thing. This one's almost done. We can, re we can switch that out. Oh, this one is done. We'll do this before we start up. I missed last week, so I'm curious to see the differences. Yeah, I, um, oh, last week I learned that I haven't been using my perim perimeter defense at all this whole time. So maybe we'll actually use that today. That'll be fun. And then we did add a, some other module. Oh, the shield as well. The shield module to the Defiant. I'm just gonna start calling it the Defiant. That's the namesake after all. Here's a, some ruby that we found. I don't know. I don't really know my first plan of the day. I was supposed to look for battery charger off stream, but I didn't end up having time to do that. And there's always like copper farming I can do off stream, but I think we're okay on copper at the moment. Might not be able to stay for too long I get motion sick. I'm sorry, Bruce. That sucks. This game and uh, Outer Wilds and The Witness especially are bad. If you can watch it windowed, I know that helps some people, but not everybody. No more hotter Daniel. Well, it's Defiant Daniel. The Cyclops has always been Defiant Daniel, but I'm just going to call it the Defiant. And hot Daniel, I more often just end up calling Daniel, so... Let's look at our PDA. Huh. There's nothing. There's nothing blinking at me with a notification, so that's, uh, that's a good start. Did we have a new, a new life pod to go visit? I don't think so. Hmm. What, uh, do any of these have images with them? No, these are the logs with the voices. Remember when we used to get pings that just had images but no signal? I forget where those were. Hmm. Maybe clues? Codes and clues? Yeah, these ones. But we've gotten all those locations. We could try to get back into the Aurora today and snoop around there now that we have defense and torpedoes. I'm pretty scared about that, not gonna lie. All 
right. I think the only other blueprint I was messing around with last time was... Uh... I don't know, something for the Cyclops that I couldn't quite make yet. Hull reinforcement. No. It was... Engine efficiency, maybe? But we made the shield generator. Okay. We've got a decoy ready. Let's go... Let's maybe go to the Aurora. I need to fix my parking job. Engine powering it's gonna up. beep at me because I parked so bad. It's not our tail that's next to something though, it's just the nose, right? Yeah. Reverse. Reverse. God, how's my driving? Oops, wrong way. Do a little spin. Yeah, we're fine. So, how's everyone's day going? We're having a relaxing Sunday. Ready for the week ahead. Do people get the day off tomorrow usually too? Or was it always just like Friday is the federal holiday? At least for US. I don't know how other places do it. Okay, so I, I really don't, I just was kind of turning around in my parking space here, but I don't really have a plan. Uh, is this the conning tower? Yeah. Just go over here. What is that? Why does that have an, oh, that's a five. Huh. I was like, why does that have an S on it? That's our life pod. It's life pod five. If I do want to go mess with Reapers and Aurora treasure. I have to go circle back all the way around to that side and avoid a bunch of shallows or I Have to uh, Go to the other end. I don't know. I, I feel like there's treasure. There's like wreckage that we haven't explored by the Aurora Hey J-Pops welcome in ended up doing a video chat with my family. Nice it's been a pretty chill day. I'm glad. I hope you're doing well too, J-Pops. Been very lazy, uh, looking up my favorite game and found new streamers to follow through that. Nice. Here's certain jobs do get off for tomorrow. Okay. I couldn't remember. It's kind of hard to see. I don't want to do too much. Navigating through the shallows at night in a submarine when I kind of need to- Oh, there's our first Easter rabbit. Rabbit Ray, creature of the day. I'm going way off course here because I'm just trying to stay in areas that I know are deep enough, but... What is that? Just a school of fish. Hmm. Excuse. Is that noise coming from the kelp or what did I drag my tail across? Why should that be that loud? 
Hello, solid metal kelp. Weird. What's our status still? Uh, fine. Send me welcome in. How's it going? Subnautica's good. I like it. Um, look at the sunrise. <laughs> and this island that I'm accidentally piloting right straight towards. I feel like I've been making pretty slow progress, to be honest, but we do only play once a week, so I'm happy with that. This game is beautiful, definitely. Okay, now I might be hitting stuff in the shallows, actually. No? Just more kelp? Mm, almost went straight into this. Let's go this way. It's fine. Just hitting some little fishies. No big. Hmm. I'm gonna get scary music now. Never actually played, but I've watched so many people play at this point. Yeah. I'm excited to watch other people play this. I can't watch playthroughs aside from maybe the first day because you can go in such a different order. And you can find things like on accident. That maybe you're not supposed to find until much later. We're still not really where I want to be. And I should probably save out here pretty frequently. Austin, hi, welcome in. How are you? Happy Subnautica Sunday. Okay, this seems like... Oh, radiation detected. Why am I only... Because I'm wearing the rebreather? Yeah. I mean, we are pretty close to the Aurora. Went to see the new Sonic movie on Friday and had a plate of Japanese vegetable curry while I was watching the movie. Yum, that's fun. How'd you like the movie? I've heard it's really good. I think I've heard it's really good. Sound horn. No, not this time. Here's a, a reef back friend. Sorry, I'll try to steer clear. Hello. It is? I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, Sun... Sunautica? I don't know, I'll stick to Subnautica Sunday for now. There's some floaters down there. It looks like some sand sharks. I don't think we're over the... This doesn't look like mushroom forest yet. What's that? Oh, we've tried- I've, we've been to this wreck before, okay. This was something we were working on last time, now that I have a laser cutter, finally. Oh. Hi Macchiato, welcome in. How's it going? Is this a life pod that we've seen? We must have. Let's maybe dive just a little bit here. 
I for having a submarine, I do like driving the submarine on the surface quite a bit. I think I remember this one being right near kind of where the red coral drops off. And that is open. Oops, what did I hit? Nothing. A fish. A small fish. It's like a glass bottom boat, yeah. Meters. Yeah, this is Oxygen wide open. This is number six. This was like pretty early on, I feel. Oh, what are these? Flares that I never picked up. Lead that I never picked up. Interesting. Is there something in here I didn't scan? Hello, Amp Eel. What's going on? Oxygen required? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Sounds suspicious. We're going above the mushroom forest. Let's let's try to surface again. I wish I had kind of a beacon for uh for the Aurora if that's really where I want to go right now. I don't know. I don't know what my goal is other than see things I haven't seen yet. Wait, I'm a little confused. Which way is this camera facing? Okay, let's save real quick. <laughs> Okay, wow. Somebody is coming in hot today. <laughs> hey, how are you? How's your day going? Happy uh happy Easter, happy Sunday. Adam, welcome in. How are you? I don't hear scary reaper noises yet. I don't think. That down there? I'm not sure. I think maybe that's one of the vents. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. I'm doing good. Um, we're getting off to a sort of slow start because I think last time I didn't really leave off with any missions, anything on my to-do list. I think the only vague goal I had was maybe I would uh, try to find a battery recharger blueprint off stream, but I don't really need one immediately. So I guess we're just gonna go use our new toys on Reapers and try to use a decoy and try to use a torpedo. I don't know, it sounds like a terrible idea. But I know that the front of the Aurora is someplace I have not been yet. The the front and the back end of the Aurora really um, I haven't done much with. Other than encounter um ghost leviathans honestly more than anything else crab squid stream yeah <laughs> it's both we support both what if i try to do a full circle around this and just sort of do a loop have we seen the whole perimeter of this i don't know but this is this is dangerous territory here for sure. As I just sit here looking around. Oh, there you are. Okay, let's do this. Does that work? I don't know. I don't 
think that worked. I swear I just saw the tail, though. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I imagined it. We did save, so if this thing gets destroyed, um, it's totally fine. I don't think I want to go back on this thing, though. Oh, I hear the music. I think I want to go down. Oh, hello. Have we been down here before? I think so. Hey, Crimson, welcome in. I don't know if that decoy did anything. I got too excited. I really wanted to use it. Oh, there's a bone shark. Don't like them. What was that? Is that my shield working? Is the shield passive? I have this icon here. What does this do? What? Oh, it drains my power. My power is draining quickly. What the heck? What is that thing? Is that a leviathan somewhere nearby? There's. I just don't know... I just don't know what to do. I feel like I definitely have to replace a battery now. I guess we're just surfacing. Ooh. So I can refill batteries and then keep going. Whee! That always looks so weird. How did our power go down so much? Nope. Grab this. Oh, weird. Why can't I just grab it? That one's at 100. That one's at 24. Wow. What the heck? Feels like it's draining so much quicker than it was before? What noises are these? The triangles are so pretty. Um, where am I going? We're gonna, we're just, we're... <sighs> just gonna do a lap. Wow, beautiful. Let's, can't wait to get attacked. I don't know what's below us. Is it shallow? Is it deep? I don't know. We don't- we- I feel like we've had no music today. Just Cyclops engine noises. Is there anything way out there? I don't know. I think- I feel like that was when I first saw... Ghost was out front, but I could be wrong. Doing. 
looks so weird from over here. And now it's nighttime. Beautiful. Alice, welcome in. Hello, hello. Oh, I hear it now. I don't think we were hearing scary noises before, but now we are. How's our power? 39%? Now seems like a good time to stop. Oh, they're not done yet. Oh, it probably... Do we think it takes them longer to charge while I'm driving? Probably not. Because hmm. it's a separate thing charging them than the ship's power itself. I feel like I want to go back to the Aurora because of, what is it, the, the stuff that we have passcodes for. I've never found anything where I needed to put in a passcode. But we were like, pretty thorough with the area I did find. Oh, and I said I was going to go back though because I have the laser cutter. So that would be a, a change. That would be like an improvement. Yeah, why don't I just head over there? Oop, oop, what was that? Oop. What kind of creature is it? Oh, really? That's unfortunate. Are we on fire or? Oop. <laughs> My favorite thing to do. Sound the horn. I feel like this thing is just either stuck and or going to explode. I feel like I'm not even moving. It's gonna explode. Alright, we're gonna go back to our save, I think. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in this game. Do you explode? I'm sorry, Defiant. Are you all the way out here? Is this area just full of them? Oh, what's that? You Reaper. Thank you, mods. <laughs> I can't see anything. Passing one hundred meters. Just diving. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, hello. What is happening? I don't know. I think the last time we did this, I at least used my sea glide. I don't do that anymore, apparently. Is 
this that place I got trapped that other time? Maybe. Yeah, my sub is named The Defiant. <laughs> hey pup, welcome in. something new. The music here is different, but I feel like I just found an air pocket. Air. Super disorienting. Uh, Defiant is from Deep Space Nine, and Daniel is from the name of my sea moth, which is Hot Daniel. Can I not go up here? No? Which is, yeah, from Adventure Time. Yeah, the sub is still alive for now. I just gave up on it, apparently. And I'm like debating if I'm gonna go back to our save from before and just leave the sub behind earlier and come out on land. Or come out, you know. Just use my legs. Oh, yes, exactly. You're clear on the lore now. Alright, yeah. Th I, I apologize. This was an experiment. <sighs> We're gonna go way back in time. I'm just gonna leave the sub behind. I don't ever know, like, where I'm going when I drive it around. I feel much safer just swimming around by myself. Maybe I'll take the sea moth out. But, like, I don't want to lose it. And all I'm gonna end up doing is getting out and walking around. That's what I've decided. Time travel! Glad it's named after DS9, yeah. I, uh, I'm not done watching through it. My partner and I have been watching, like, a bunch of Star Trek from the beginning. And we are about to finish season five? I said that last time, but we only watch maybe one episode a day. Thank you, pup. <laughs> Semi is the one who is leading the charge on our... Star Trek episodes, so. Prince of Persia, that's not how it really happened. Let me start again. Channel Dax, yeah. I'm pretty brave with this game, to be honest. Uh, I feel like, for the most part. I need, I need um, some of the prophets to like tell me where to go. Okay, how far away am I though from where I want to be? I don't know, whatever. I think the sub is safe here, so we'll leave it for now. Do I have my rebreather? No, I have my radiation helmet. Next episode of season five finale. Yes. Can't wait. I do still take the- no, I don't even bring the sea glide with me anymore. I think it's on the- in the sea moth storage. Maybe. Oh, is this that floaty life pod? Yeah. How many, uh, how many med packs did I bring with me? Can I not go in there? 
No. How did I get in the side? <laughs> I forgot how we did this. Oh, there's a med pack right here. Okay. Fun. Stalker noise? That wasn't loud enough to be anything terrible. Um, I want to know what's in there, but also I don't think it's going to be a battery recharger. I'll take my chances that it's not. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, thank you. Just a reminder, uh, so you hear it from me as well. Like, hints for me means no game info. I mean, that's it, it, not even... Even if it's not a hint, I generally don't want to know. I want to find it all out on my own. So please refrain from answering. My questions are all rhetorical. Um, and if you have questions, just ask the mods. Like, hey, can I can I ask this? You can always whisper a mod. But we are pretty strict about that. Just letting you know. Kazuka, how's it going? Welcome in. Oh yeah, there's there's crabs here. I forgot about the crabs. Yeah. Nice. Whew. So we're back. Wondering if laser cutters will help us. Maybe yes, maybe no. And then if I want to, I can dive to the bottom here. And look underneath the aurora? I don't know. We'll find out. Scream and cheese welcome in. How's it going? Thanks for thanking the mods. Thanks everybody for thanking the mods. We have a really excellent mod team. walk this way for now. Uh, Toast, yeah, I'm just exploring at the moment. I, I'm looking for, I think, the cargo area at some point, because I know I have a code for a cargo area, but I've never used the code in my PDA. I don't know where to use it. Mods have the green sword badge, yeah. Okay, he's modding for us right now. And you can see him in the viewer list too, they might be lurking. I remember being frustrated that I couldn't jump <laughs> in this area. But there was a little bridge we found. Like, I don't think I'm gonna just be able to walk up to this stuff that's on fire and... For now, please. <laughs> uh, and cut it with a laser cutter. <laughs> Knows I can't be trusted with power. Oh, Magus. <laughs> it depends on the game, too. Sometimes we have people... Well, Tay is coming in, like, specifically for Subnautica. Uh, sometimes if we have people in the community that are uh, really knowledgeable on a game or just really love modding for that particular game, we bring them in to do that. Ooh. That's probably fine. Stay back, crab. Oh. How about this? Laser cutter? Laser cutter? Laser cutter, cutter anybody? Laser cutter? Did I already walk back here? This doesn't look accessible. No. 
I have both knives, yeah. I remember that happened because I um I was trying to get samples of something and I was worried that the thermal blade would burn the sample or like melt the sample. Yeesh. So I brought both knives just in case. This is incredibly treacherous. Can I go over here? It seems like maybe no. Dual wielding, yeah. I think I need a flashlight around here. It's so dark and scary. We came in here. Is this where we got all the office furniture? Airlocks. Cargo Bay 3. Are these just open anyways? And we have the, the things, but the doors have been blasted open and I didn't put that together until later. It's possible. I'll have to check the PDA. I don't even remember that this said Cargo Bay 3, honestly. Let me through. Echoes, welcome in. How's it going? I might have vaporized the crab. I don't know. <laughs> oh. We've been here. We've done this. It won't even let me. Is that a power cell? Oh, it's a battery. Is that something over there? No. Trash can. I remember the trash can. It's an Altera notebook. Uh oh, I'm stuck. No, we're fine. A pen! Maybe I missed something? Poster? Cool. How long has it been since the first visit? It feels like a long time. Um, uh, maybe the second stream we came here? And I think this is number 11. All right, let's um, read the PDA really quick. Oh. Well, everything is shaken. Notes to self. Cargo bay code 1454. And there's another one that has uh, the captain something code, I think. Aurora survivors. Oh, goodness. But I thought that was like a note and not an audio log, but I could be wrong. I'm scanning. The PDA shake is silly, yeah. I can't read anything while you're shaking my PDA like that. Rendezvous. Codes. Notes to self. Is that the only one? I swear there was another one. Survival package? Aurora ship? 
Alright. No, that doesn't help me then, does it? Hmm. Admin and cargo bay 3. And I remember we came here a long time ago and I asked if we would have to come back, I think. And you all were like, let's, you know, for spoiler's sake, we can't give you an exact answer. <laughs> it was like a sort of answer, which is fair. And I feel like part of that might be, it depends on whether I want to come back or if I feel like I missed something. I don't know. I was very excited to come back here with the laser cutter, thinking that would do something, like open a door for us. Not from here, though. Or so it seems. <sighs> okay. Time to go swim around again, I guess. I'm looking for more clues of what to do, of where to go. Did I get stuck? Really? We've had this glitch in a different place before. Does anybody know how to get out of this? Oh, you can answer that. Here, I'll cut I'll cut into the ground around my feet. I think when we've gotten stuck before inside of the it's the vehicle, the moon pool, we've had it inside there. I've just save and quit. But if I quit out of the game now, we go back to the submarine. If you attempt moving using the keyboard, oh, that's a good, um, no, it doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know, Alice. I think they didn't want to put that in the game. You're supposed to feel like you're totally alone here. It's probably an environmental choice. I do really want an answer, uh, yeah, safe word for for getting off of this little piece of land here, if there is something I can try. But I don't think so. Whoa. That looks very cool. I need to jump? I can't jump. I took a screenshot. Oh, no, you're good, Tay. Um, I'm just... Yeah, safe word question if there's a way to get me out yes. of here. Yes. Yes. With this glitch. Yes. Otherwise, we'll just go back to the sub. And thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Hmm... Looks like my foot is stuck. Oh. What? There's no controller equivalent for jumping? Did I learn this ages ago? Jumping can't have been that important. It's fine. We're not on land very often. God. 
I gave up using controller with this game. Oh, I can't. I can't give up on it. No, there is a gamepad jump. I just don't ever remember. Keyboard or gamepad, I don't um, ever remember being prompted to jump. So I just always assumed it was like the witness and there was no jump. Can I get through here now? I doubt it. <laughs> I don't think we can stand on this. This place is absolutely falling apart though. Parkour. Haha! <laughs> I broke the game. No, we just got through. Hey, look! Cargo bay! Hey, there's some fun noises. Okay. Anything else in this room? No. Oh, this I have to do with keyboard. Thank you! I don't want that. Hey, Bren, welcome in! Oh, this game was not made as a horror game? No. Okay. I haven't seen a scanner bubble yet. I haven't seen anything that looks completely new. Can I take the battery off of this? <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, what's in these? Anything? <gasps> Look at me jumping everywhere now! I was just doing a challenge run before. I mean, in that, I believe the developers when they said they accidentally made a horror game, yeah. Okay. Nice. Integrating new PDA data. Cargo bay four. Is that water? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I thought I could get up there. Streams, how's it going? Welcome in. Forgive me, it's my first day jumping. Oh well. There's something up top there. I wonder how handy it is. I don't like that we grunt every time we jump. It's more water. Okay. Oh, thanks, streams. <laughs> The no jumping assumption. Yeah, I think we did fine without it. We don't. There's really only been a place, a couple places we've gone on land. And now I know. Huh? Um. 
Um, we can go swim around. Let's heal first. Let's look at this. Public documents, Transgov Profile Altera Core. Oh, this is a long one. One of the largest suppliers of spacefaring technologies and consumer electronics in the Federation, the official supplier of the TSF, consistently ranked among the galaxy's best employers, began life as a defense manufacturer in the mid-22nd century. National motto, get what you deserve. Okay. Although most Transgovs can trace their roots back to Earth, Altera, literally meaning by Earth, is the only one brazen enough to take its name. During the expansion, Altera supplied arms to all sides, acquiring and housing a vast colonist workforce, and making the transition from manufacturer to corporate state. Altera's threat to cease trade was one of the turning points in the conflict, bringing about the end of hostilities and the signing of the Charter. Free enterprise within Altera's space is encouraged, but competition is tight, and all goods exported off-world must be Altera-branded. Profitable businesses are bought out by the state, owners ascending to the board of directors, well-known Altera technologies like the Cyclops submersible origina originated with such private enterprises. Despite superficial similarities to national governments, the corporation's lawyers have always maintained that it has no legal obligation to its employees, but voluntarily elects to take on the roles usually served by democratically elected government. This claim has not yet been tested in better Federation courts. What? What? Okay. Um, I'm gonna save. And jump in some water, I guess. Uh... Is that a leech? What are you? Also, I should scan you. Oh no, you're too small to scan? Okay. Too small to scan, but... Yeah. You stuck to me? Oh, how do I get you off? <gasps> Leave me alone. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Fun. How come I couldn't scan that? Can I scan it now that it's dead? Is it something? I must have already scanned it. Must be something I already know about. Okay. Don't like this area, I must say. Uh, see, Moth Bay? I don't. This is a repair tool. Seems safe. Maybe? Integrating new PDA data. New PDA data. Oh, well, I'm not going to scan that because it's going to add stuff to my inventory. Seamoth. Depth module? I didn't even have to make one? Wow. Rude. So we could have gotten all the Seamoth fragments in here. And a depth module, like, right off the bat. Is there anything in these? No. Uh, Leo Ben, welcome in. Drive room, let's go over here. Cut open. We wouldn't have had this yet. Um, let's see what this does. So bright!
Data. What is this? Uh, battery? Okay. So we- it worked out having to come back here after having laser cutter? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, do- did I bring a fire extinguisher? I don't think so. No. There is one on the sea moth and like several on the cyclops. I don't think you can just. Can I just. You know, from over here? No? No? Okay, it's disappointing. Maybe we'll find one? Hey, cabbage, welcome in. We're, uh. We're exploring. What else did I miss in here? Got all that water. Yeah, just make little cups with your hands. Good thinking. Why didn't the game think of that? Just run back and forth with cups of water in my hands. <laughs> I think we got everything in here. Oh, here's another battery. A lot of batteries. And now we can go to, um... The drive room we haven't done yet. Is that another one? Sustained internal nope. damage during These look like play. batteries. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. What counts as a appropriate qualification? You know? Oh god. I feel like I definitely brought a fire extinguisher with me last time. Or there was one in a supply crate or something. We got all the ones that there were to offer, so they're all gone now, it looks like. Oh, that's unfortunate. Did I go? Yeah, we went to Seamoth Bay. Closed door. <sighs> no fire extinguishers? None. I don't want to go back in the leech room. Scary leech room. Hmm. Gonna have to come all the way back then? I guess so. It seems safe. Let's go over here. I went over there. I looked in these. Now I can jump up here? Why would I want to do that? Can I really not clear that? There we go. Ooh. And this is 
where we came in. You would think it would be easier to just duck than to do all this jumping around here, but whatever. Huh? Alright. So that... Did we have to walk across that bridge to get to this section? No. Maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll save. And then we gotta go get a fire extinguisher and come back. Or a bunch of med packs and come back. How many do I have? Just two? personal best for exploring Aurora. Yeah. We got a lot farther. Oh, there's another PDA I need to read. Uh, several. VR suite will look? Okay, well, maybe this isn't a good place to do that. This thing looks so suspicious. This giant metal wall. Uh, it doesn't lead anywhere. Can we go over stuff like this now? I don't know, there's nothing up there. What? I was watching, yesterday I was watching a Peaceful Slime Rancher stream and got an ad for a Viking War movie. Yeah. Ads are all over the place. They don't usually match anything to do with what the streamer is doing. There's not, as far as I know, there's not a way to pick which ones you get, either. Slime Rancher, though, is a fantastic game. Love some Slime Rancher. Okay, let's leave. And hope we don't die trying to leave. I kind of want to save here. And try diving down. At least a little bit and just looking around here. Or do we think that the reaper comes straight into this wreckage? I don't know. Let's just take a little peek. Does it live down here? In the wreckage? Wow. Fascinating. Wow. I'm gonna die doing this. That's why we saved. Okay, this is Oxygen cool. I don't think I've seen increased. any of this before. It just looks like shrapnel. Is that- are you here to say hi? Do you live down here? Or is that the stalker? I don't know, we're just hanging out. Sand shark. That was definitely just the stalker. The stalkers are louder than I remember. Who wants to hang out with a reaper today? Hello! <laughs> oh. 
Where'd I park my car? Did you do a lap and then... Does it do, like, circles around here? No need to worry about me. I'm just a squishy little human. I can't hurt you. You can definitely hurt me. Yeah, thank you, mods. I, I think out loud so that you know what I'm thinking, what I'm trying to do in the game. So that, I don't know, I get, can give you a better play-by-play. -play. That's the whole point. But please don't answer those questions, because I'm, I'm like actively trying to figure them out as I go. Hey, McCoffee, welcome in. Your best bet is to pull an Austin and just go, who can say? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. How will we ever find out? The Reaper wants a hug, truly. I didn't feel like giving hugs at, at the moment, but I, I should go give it a quick, a quick hug, huh? Water is wet, yeah. Who can say? <laughs> Anything could happen in this world. Um, are we gonna swim back? Are we gonna take the sea moth back? I feel like taking the sea moth back is just a horrible idea. Getting the sea moth anywhere near the reaper is a horrible idea. <laughs> Brent, yes, that. I refuse to tell you. Feel spicy today. Don't be spicy, people. No spice. I don't think there is a single fire extinguisher in those lockers. I think we have the one up here. We have the one back here. And I think I have a spare in here. This one's at 83%. This one's also at 83%. That's the one I somehow miraculously duplicated once upon a time. Do we need two? There's a lot of fire on the on the um the Aurora. Also, I should probably swap these out. Nick, hi, welcome in. Uh, 100, 38, 100. Zero. Hello? 100... Oh, great. Let's put some of this stuff in here. I don't know why I'm hanging on to all these rubies. We found a million batteries on the Aurora wreckage. Let's take this stuff out of my storage. Do we need both knives? No. <laughs> Um, I could stand to bring a couple more med kits. Maybe we'll just, we'll take the sea moth out for a spin so I can get into the storage. <laughs> Swim long and prosper. Thanks, Nick. Admiral, welcome in. Makes me want to play this again. Love this game so much. Yeah. I feel like it has that effect on a lot of people. Oh, I want to put this poster up. Cool. Yeah, let's do this. Uh... Real quick. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. And let's see what's in storage. Oh, a bunch of gel sacks from when we went to uh, whatever that one area was. That was a new inventory item. That's right, I can make aerogel now. 
I think we use that for a couple things. Um, five seems like overkill, but eh, maybe, maybe not. Oh, thank you for the reminder. We do have the spoiler chat in Discord if you want to talk about the game in there. That's a really safe place to do so without spoiling anything. If you want to talk about strategy or like best practices for the game, stuff like that. Dan, you're looking hot today, yeah. That bright paint job. There's where my sea glide went to. Um, I'll just put these in here. Okay. The name Hot Daniel still cracks me up. I'm glad you like it. Thanks for the Discord link. Thanks, everyone. We're going back to the Aurora to use our fire extinguisher. I really should take two of them, just in case. I don't know, because there's a lot of fire. That one is gone... And do we know how to craft one? I don't know that I've ever looked into that. Probably. Yeah. Oh, it only takes three titanium. That's good to know. This is fine. Mm, okay, wait, we're gonna take the sea glide. I already changed my mind. Indecisive. Does the fire get worse while we're away? I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Hey, CG, welcome in. The backslash spoiler is not, is not a thing. Yeah. Taking Macy out. Hi, Macy. I don't, I don't know what backslash things, some of the commands are available for everybody in chat. Some of them are just for mods, but that's not one of them. Oh, did we get this on the trip when we died? And it was just water. Fair enough. I should be looking for time capsules too. Those are fun. Ooh, that's a sand shark. Mm -hmm. Yes, hello. This is fine. Everything's fine. I'm gonna get stuck. This isn't it, right? This is just a wall. Making myself nervous. The way everything shakes over here. It's so spicy. I think we're underneath where we need to be. That's not good. Oh no. I'll just go over to this side real quick. 
Don't mind me. Ugh. How did I get this so wrong this time? We're going right into a reaper's mouth. What about this? Did I come out far enough? Is this the same thing I got stuck on before? Or did I do it right this time? I see crabs. I think we got it right this time. <sighs> oh, it says a discord command? Gotcha. I don't know the commands for discord very well. But that would be a good thing to brush up on. Back to grunting and jumping. And I still didn't read all the PDAs. Oops. So much destruction, yeah. It looks so real bad. Real, real bad. We knew it was, but the sight of it is, uh, pretty scary. Don't worry, though, I have a flashlight. <laughs> Back in we go. Now we go back to the cargo bay, yeah. That was where I did our parkour. They just look like a one of those leeches fell from the ceiling. Nowhere is safe. Yes. 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 Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Huh? Aurora round three, yeah. Spicy. Now, I think both directions we wanted to go had oops. Uh drive drive room not the Seamoth Bay. I think that was the only one we completed. This one is scarier than the other one. I do. I want to do the other one first. Thought we were coming back with the extinguisher to save the place. Haven't seen too much of the game. Oh, we're like salvaging. Yeah. No save in this. Just seeing what stuff we can find that'll help us. Okay, prawn bay. I need to get enough of this, I don't know, enough of this clear so that I can get to that panel. Yeah. Is it gonna grow again? It's gonna spread again, right? And how are we gonna get out? <gasps> Prawn suits! Living quarters. Locker room. We're gonna get heckin' electrocuted in here. I'm surprised we haven't been electrocuted yet in this game anyway. For some of the stuff that we've seen underwater. Let me scan you!
Yes. One of four. I think there's... I see three in here to scan? Picking up a faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. Oh, interesting. Oh, here we go. Non suit fragment. Oh, this is exciting. This is big. Oh, it's letting me. There we go. Can I walk out on this thing? Oh, I don't even need to. I can get it from here. Wow. New blueprint acquired. We can make a prawn suit. Hi, Indy. Welcome in. I can I can hardly believe it. I thought this would never happen. Let's save. <laughs> wow. I why I swear that I don't want to go in this water. It also doesn't really look like oh but there's maybe a blue light over there would mean a something with stuff in it, a locker. It just doesn't look like there's much room to swim around. Okay, we can swim around a little bit. It's not insta death. Oh, interesting though. You can't jump if you're swimming. You can't jump out of the like water to get on this. It's kind of glitchy feeling. I'm ice skating right now, the way the physics feels. Is this some kind of obstacle course down here? I don't want to mess with that. Why would I mess with that? Fire extinguisher. Am I supposed to make one right now and put it on and explore in here with it on? I wonder what all the whoa different tools it has. I wonder what all it can do. While your concerns are reasonable, I'm amused by the idea of someone jumping into a swimming pool and announcing, well, it's not insta death, yeah. I don't know why that water, as opposed to some of the other dangerous water we've seen, that one was like, no, Jen, don't jump in there. We've been in lots of scary water. Oh, wow. Canteen. Look at the little, is it a cat? With a scuba helmet? With a space helmet? There's a space cat in this game? I must get this poster. This is my life's mission. Oh, a vending machine. We have that, but we could have gotten one here. Okay, that wore out pretty quickly. We have this type of chair. We have this type of table. We have this vending machine. Keep calm. PDA data. <laughs> Cookie Cat, he left his family behind. That's the cutest. 
I have a cookie cat pin somewhere. Actually, I do know where it is. It's pretty similar. Space cat. We have the space cat emote. Space cat's in chat. Okay, that was worth it. Single wall shelf. <laughs> Perfect. It's our mascot now. Sides, baked potato, coleslaw, mac and cheese, garlic bread, biscuit, dinner, chicken and pork, BBQ, sliced beef, baked beans, ham and cheese, hours 4 to 9 open all week, frontiersman discount available. Snap, blue. I want a menu board. Can I scan this? No? Can't take the menu board with me for my habitat? See how it is. Okay. Locked. And no prompt for laser cutter. It's just the kitchen, I guess. <laughs> um, this is still burning. Supply. Oh, you can come in here and get a million food bricks. Not a million. Two? <laughs> Uh, we do have a BTTV command. I think it just exclamation point BTTV. If you can't see the emotes that, um, you'll see them on, like, in chat, in the bubbles on, on stream. If you would like to get those, you can get those through BTTV. It's a fun, and some would say must-have, extension for Twitch. It has other features besides just the emotes. There are different ways you can change your chat and customize it. But the emotes are the best part. I think it's- oh wow, I'm gonna get lost in here. I think it's safe to hang out in here for a bit and read the PDA, because there's nothing falling on us from the ceiling like there was outside. At least not at the moment. Oh, a picture. Is this an Easter egg? Is this based off of a real person? It's cool. Oh, another one of these duffels. I'm not grabbing another one. One was plenty. Cabin one. I don't think I have the passcode for this yet, but it might have been in one of the logs I picked up. Wish you could see them on mobile, but sometimes it's kind of fun to try and remember my favorite BTTV emotes and type them into my phone. Nick, my phone has a couple that it remembers because I type them in mobile so often. Yeah. Um. Gosh, let's let's do some light reading. First, we'll check cron suit, two plasteel ingot, two aerogel, enamel glass. Two diamond, two lead. We can make that. We can make that. Not right now. But when we get back home, we might have what we need on the Cyclops. I'm not sure. Shelf just takes titanium. Another accidental screenshot. Do I have to view this for it to go away? Oh yeah, the black box signature we still haven't found. And then we'll go to the drive core room after this. This is so long. VR sweet log. Desert island drama. Size, three players. Resources, normal. Spawning players on beach. They have a hollow suite. Eating a coconut, building a tent, sleeping, trading credits. Player 3 has been shot twice in the head while sleeping. Player 2 wins. Player 2 has died from cold and starvation. Great. Fun holodeck program. Aurora, wait, let me move so it's not having this lashing lights in the background. 
Aurora Auxiliary Mission Orders, Search and Rescue, Target Crew of Mongolian Vessel Degazi. Last Known Position, Vicinity of the Planet, 4546B. Ariadne Arm, Contact Mongolian Emissary Chochi Kasar, Aurora Passenger Quarters. Mission Brief, a Mongolian vessel, the Degazi, disappeared almost a decade ago, carrying with it a high-ranking Mongolian chief. Corporate Insurance has purchased passage aboard the Aurora for Emissary Kazar, and your orders are to make every reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degazi crew members. Hmm. Without compromising the primary mission. Confirming the fate of the crew will aid Altera's diplomatic efforts with the Mongolian councils. Aurora is due to perform a slingshot maneuver around 4546B, approximately 13 months post-launch. This will bring the ship within range of Degazi's last known position. Additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been included in the Aurora's cargo package for this mission. Degazi crew manifesto has been distributed to senior employees in a separate message. Okay. This says, oh, here's the code we need. This says, sweet offer from Huggins to Wilson. You're telling me you've been using this rig more than a year and you never took it a ride on the outside? Well, now you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. We've plain got nothing to do till we get star side to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars? You've only got to say, my spare prawn suit's got your name on it. You don't know what power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavy, mechanically augmented hands. Want to play catch with a passing meteor? Come by cabin number 1, codes 1869. Nice. Giant freaking robot suit. I have two more entries. Today's menu. What? Space bear velute? I've never heard of that before. What is that? I mean, I'm assuming it's based on something real, but maybe not. Smooth, nutty, protein-rich soup. Cottage pie or nutrient block. Great. Dried fruits and nuts for dessert. Great. The only available dessert for the next 39 weeks. A rich white sauce made of chicken, veal, pork, or fish stock. Thicken with cream and egg yolks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jinx, yeah. I've never heard of that before. Um, I'm a pescatarian, so I guess I'll be having the nutrient block. No, I think that's beef. I don't think I don't think pescatarian is an option when you're doing critical space travel missions. They only have whatever rations they have, you know. Hey Zara, welcome in. Oops, I want to collapse some of these because they take up so much room. So much knowledge. Oh, prawn suit, Mark Three. Pressure reactive, waterproof nano suit is a range of mechs designed to protect the pilot from extreme environments. The Mark Three is the latest iter iteration, and has so far only been rolled out by Altera for their own high-value phase gate-related operations. So does this mean we can go in the heat? And the acid? Fully insulated from outside environment. Powerful hydro... I can't read today when we're doing a lot of reading. Hydraulic limbs allow for manipulation of objects and powered traversal of the environment. Rear-mounted thrusters provide maneuverability in low-gravity environments. A range of modifications are available to facilitate resource extraction and enhanced exploration. The prawn suit. It's got you covered. Okay, that was everything there, and then I learned the code for this. Do the codes change for everybody's game for the different save files? You can, you can answer that. Like, did you all know that it was 1869? 
already, or is it is it different for different players? All the same. Hey, Birdo, welcome in. <gasps> a hat. I can't wear it. Aww. Incompatible with protective environment suits. Whatever. Randomization would be neat if a bit overkill. There's another duffel bag. Shelves. A doll. Aww, cute. They're randomizer mods, yeah. Something the devs thought about was a procedurally generated world, but that was too much to take on. Gotcha. Oh, my, uh... Flashlight isn't on... the hotbar anymore. What is this? Like a nameplate or something? Doesn't it look like a cassette tape? Kind of? Wow, I'm gonna get lost in here. Okay, we did that one. <laughs> Is this a new type of chair? Nope. Same type of chair. There's so much in, in here. Relationship, contract, legal recording. Okay. Ooh, here's a poster. How's my inventory? Huh. We've got room. This one is at 83%. Altera Arms pamphlet. New PDA data. So many batteries. There's so many carry-alls. Do these... Okay, question. If I can pick these up, that means they don't have anything inside them, right? These are all empty. I should be looking at them to see if they're empty? Hmm. I didn't think of that. I just wasn't picking, up, picking them up because I know that I didn't want them. Okay. I, I, I think it's fine. Hey, Patty. How are you? Welcome in. I think it's fine. Just doing a little stroll here. Be gone, fire. I wonder if there's an achievement for putting out all the fires. <laughs> well, it's already back. Am I supposed to be able to cut into this one? I think we just can't get in there. Okay. Natural selection poster. Interesting. Okay. Just checking to see that I got everything in the living quarters. Let 
Maybe yes, maybe no. What's over here? That was the one with the code. I scanned the shelves. I'm gonna save. Can I make it through this? This looks like it's gonna hurt me very much. Wee! Uh, Captain's Quarters. I feel like I have that somewhere? That's the other one I was looking for? It should be an achievement to collect all the posters? Yeah. Yeah, that would be really good. Ugh. This is long. Charity is an archaic concept which the realism of today's Alterans has rendered obsolete. We understand that we are each responsible for ourselves, but the best way to get the most for ourselves is to work together with Altera. The implication of this reasoning is clear. If someone is in need, they must find a way to be needed. Hmm. Altera Alms is a training academy for those that need to be needed. We're not a charity because we don't ask for handouts. We prefer to think of ourselves as philanthropic ben benef beneficence facilitation service promoting synergy between employer and workforce. AA operates on a lottery system by investing any number of credits will be entered into our prize draw. Larger investments yield higher chances of winning. Your credits will go toward training unskilled colonists in vital tasks such as maintenance and interpersonal skills. The colonists receive this training voluntarily and free of charge on condition of a minimum contract with one of our investors on completion of their training. Okay. We're getting this very... Yeah, Austin. Very interesting picture of Altera here. Relationship contract legal recording. Let's listen. Uh, oh. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can <laughs> we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. What? You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. What? Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Wow. Breakup log. Responsible autonomous relationships by Jenny Eckhart. All the good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of values, support, motivation, affection, nothing good is ever free. If every physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. It is important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they are not wronging their original supplier by changing their purchasing arrangements. If one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it is performing competitively. There is always room for improvement. Also, buy pride, yeah. Subnautica said by pride. Real house people of Altera. This this is so the business model. Take a look at not like at yourself and your desires and your heart and what you want. Take a look at your business model. <laughs> okay. Alright. This is the future of Altera. Altera's not looking so good. Jenny deflecting accountability, my modeling things as a business, yeah. Uh, that didn't get me the captain's quarters code, but I swear I have it 
somewhere, but I might have written it down in my notebook, but it might be in one of these logs. Shu, hi, welcome in, how are you? And if I, okay, what is this one? I, I didn't read this earlier, I skimmed it. I don't see it there. Altera has spaceships, they seem pretty good to me. There's so much more to base the success of a society on than just space travel. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting not to read the PDA in front of the sparks. It does look like the PDA is exploding, but it's also really distracting. Unnecessary flashy lights for all of you. Um... Okay, I want to ask... I want to ask if I have this. It, can you all... Can a mod point me to which one to open and you can check and tell me if I have the captain's code or not? I feel like I have it. Nacho, hi, welcome in. <laughs> With a spaceship I could get away from every other human. Fair. I think it would be in data downloads. I think it would be from... One of the... Survivor logs. Which I skimmed these, but not closely. I can't remember either. I don't have it? Okay. Just finished a scary game, so I'm a bit shaken. Yeah, I bet. Those those can be hard to, like, come down from sometimes. Google says it was a radio message. Oh, so it would be in here. Also, yeah, maybe, um, just leave it to the mods, please. I know this one I, I, I want help on, but Tay is my go-to. So I can look back through these pretty quickly, right? Oh, there are a lot. I'll do my best. It's been so long since we've looked at these. Copper, exercise, fabricator, quantum explosion, swimming, distress things, countdown, survival knife, uh, life pod three, Avery Quinn, from the sunbeam. Remember the sunbeam? Ozzy from the cafeteria. Sunbeam. Uh, goodbye, sunbeam. Exploring the alien facility, being infected with bacteria. Weird alien radio messages. Ah, here we go. 2679. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there. You're just gonna have to meet us halfway. Black box data shows high security terminal in the captain's quarters are still functional. We'll try that. I might have written that down in my notebook somewhere. But... We found it by doing this. I'm just doing another quick skim through here. There might be something I wanted to find, but I, I, I don't remember another code. I remembered the cargo code and that we had somebody's room. And that was it. Ugh. It's really interesting reading back through these, because these aren't in the PDA, and I'm looking at- or these aren't in the data logs, whatever it's called. Data bank? But I don't go back through the log as much as I go in the data bank. What happens if you put in the wrong code? Do you get locked out forever? No. Oh, weird. Cool 
poster. Wow. Is that a model of the Aurora? Captain's log. What's the star date? Pick your lucky star date. Aurora miniature. Data terminal. This is good. This is juicy. Integrating new PDA data. New PDA data. Okay. I'm saving again. It only now occurred to me that alien text is just extended assy characters. Is that how you say that word? I never know how to say it. Like that would have been renderable with DOS rocket blueprint. Let's look. That's just what Craig McGill would- oh wait. I didn't start at the top. Loading program Craig McGill Simulator VR One player Captain Hot Dog Hollister Boil 9 Resources Normal You're exploring a quiet alien backwater when the ship you arrived here in implodes. It must be the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what will you do? Search the crash site or farm alien plants. Use tectonic de-imploder unavailable. That's just what Craig McGill would do. After foraging for some hours, you've collected a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs. Which will you sustain yourself with? Stank root, tree roaches, or starwall eggs? While the starwall eggs are nutritious, the life cycle of these vast space-fearing creatures is much too slow to sustain a farm. And besides, their mother is extremely angry, angry with you. Accept your fate? Fight the starwall or apologize. We're accepting our fate. Craig McGill knows there is no reasoning with a mother scorned. You are not so much torn apart as swallowed whole and disintegrated. The atoms that you thought were you are gradually redistrib oh, redistributed in service of the starwall's continued survival. Okay, fun. I like it. <laughs> yes, stank root. ASCII. Okay. Thank you, Magus. I love the thoroughness. I don't usually read all of these on stream, but today just feels like a reading day. Neptune escape rocket? This is how we get out of here? Maybe? This blueprint set was developed at Altera headquarters specifically to get you off 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources, and is piloted by AI. It may be adapted to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. It consists of five independently constructible elements. Launch platform. Floating platform provides a solid base from which to launch the rocket. Gantry. Provides structural support. Stage 1. Primary thrusters for reaching atmosphere escape velocity. Stage 2. Fuel reserve. Stage 3, Cockpit, one-person life support, short-range communications, adaptable power supply, orbital shielding, onboard time capsule. Onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. The use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. What? That's so cool! Now I just want to go fly around in space. It's a space game after all. It's not a water game. Is, don't answer this, okay? Do not answer this. But I see time capsule. I don't think I've seen time capsule anywhere else. Aside from the ones we found. Are, I'm wondering if all the time capsules are from people that dropped them off their rocket as they launched and, like, ended the game. Don't confirm that. But that's my first theory upon seeing that. It could be very wrong. Let's actually take, I think we've got a few more to read, but let's take a quick stream break. I need something to drink from all this reading. I'm going to grab a seltzer or some tea or something and get up and stretch. And then we'll come back to it. We've got, I think this is the last data bank entry. Last recorded transmission. This is going to be juicy. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last... Ooh, sorry, that was my coaster. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. It's fogging up my glasses. With rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship 
that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find and sit you, but it's gonna need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... More wow. Really offline. Wow. Distress call. This is too hot for me to drink yet. You're tired, Ruben? Yeah. I hope you get some good rest when it's time. Does this have the rocket blueprint? Did we look at that? We have so many blueprints. Oh, I'm excited to do new upgrades. Titanium ingot computer chip lead for the launch platform. Simple enough. Maybe we just make one thing at a time? I don't think I saw any of the other pieces. Will I like this game if I don't like water levels in other games? Um, what do you mean water? Oh, like the water temple in Ocarina of Time? Things like that? Very different type of game from something that has a water level or like Dire Dire Docks or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, Ruben. It's got a lot of open ocean. I feel like the controls for swimming are much better than being underwater in, say, Mario or Banjo-Kazooie or something like that. You have much better control and camera angles and things like that. I don't, I don't know what I'm looking for. And then we've got all these cool trinkets now. How do you feel about the intense drowning music from Sonic? Stressful. Incredibly stressful. I think we're finished with this area then. We can go back towards... Uh... The drive core room. Because we went over here. We finished all this. This was all on fire. I'm just gonna leave it leave it on fire. And we did all this. Oh, we get to go way back now. Let's hope I got everything, I guess. A uh, friend told me this was their favorite game ever, so I'm interested. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I think it's sort of divisive as far as if it's too scary slash people who just are afraid of the ocean. And that's absolutely valid. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Yeah, all right, let's go back around. I get fall damage from my own jumps now. Did I go under here? Any secrets under the stairs? No. Apparently not. <gasps> and there weren't any upgrades in any of these that I could tell. Although I'll be sad if there was one. And I missed it. Actually, it kind of looks like there's something in that one, but maybe it's just debris? Oh. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Let's go.
Please, no more leeches. Oh, what is this door? Wish we could open that. Uh, where's my flashlight? This is what we want. We haven't done this yet. I click into a random Subnautica stream and Tay would be here! Hey along with Chris, welcome in. It's the best non-horror horror game, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Roman? I don't know how that relates right now. Okay, those are both gone. Uh, this one has a hundred percent. Yikes. But they said not to- oh, I should have saved before I went through there. They said not to do stuff in this room if I didn't know what I was doing. We'll save again. <laughs> I love that, yeah, that emote combo. Just throw some rainbow paint on the fire. What's this one? Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Engine efficiency module, I don't even have to build that one? Ah, <gasps> that was on my wish list. We're gonna get irradiated. Wow. What am, I, what am I? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do in here yet. Someone keeps setting off the car alarm and turning it off. No, Magus. That's terrible. Yeah, thank you, Tay. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I don't know if I can help you, Roman. But Google can, if you want to chat Subnautica and games, happy to do that. I also hope you're having a good holiday if you celebrate. Oh no, leech, 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 ah, leeches, ah, they're everywhere, ah! So far, they've hurt me so much more than some of the other stuff that has hurt me. It's this tiny thing that does a ton of damage. Unless I cut it off my arm. It's kind of weird how we crawl onto land there. Does anyone get 100% distracted by car alarms? Do the car alarm dance when they start going off? I mean, I think they're meant to be very jarring. So yeah, I would say the same happens to me. Am I supposed to use a repair tool for these? This doesn't seem wise. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. This is fine. This is totally safe. Hey Kaz, welcome in. Containment. Repaired. So you stream it enough to know there's some scary things in the ocean. Big scary things. And tiny scary things. <laughs> Much unintentional horror. Okay. Can I jump off here? No. I have to go the long way around. Oh, I see one down there, and then there's one on this side. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Uh, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches Quentin, welcome detected. in. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Can I get to it from here? I saw the prompt, but this is not a good spot for me. Good thing I have a bajillion batteries. 
<gasps> no! No! The stupid leech! No! I'm gonna die! Oh, I hate those things. Okay, I definitely knew what to do sooner. Oh, I don't like it! Uh, potato, welcome in. <laughs> uh, sorry, tater. Oh my god. What is happening? I'm pressing buttons I don't want to press. Oh, uh, yes, first playthrough. Yeah, Chris. Die! Die! Leeches. Way scarier than everything else so far. Those things suck. Mm, truly. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Just on a mission to kill all leeches. I think they only take one hit. Look, here comes another one. Another one! Get out of here! Got my thermo blade. They're so little. Can find them through them them finding me first, yeah. Further breaches detected. I'm sorry, there was another noise. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Maybe. Further breaches detected. Okay, let's try not to get hurt with fire falling from the ceiling. There's another leech! I see you. Gotta get you. Ha! Ah. Oh. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches. I feel detected. like we're almost done. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Oh, there's more visual ones than there are. Then it's counting down. Oh no, I don't know. Further breaches detected. The splash of I I don't know metal falling in to the water. I don't like it. Dry core bleach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. But that's good. Radiation levels decreasing is good. New music. I'm saying welcome in. Let's save. <laughs> I don't know exactly all the benefits of what we did yet. I mean, less radiation is good. Let's go in here one more time. Go over here. Did I do this? I think there's a door behind that. <laughs> Wait, this way. Can I just get out there? No? Let me up! Did 
you have to come back with the prom suit on? I don't even- I can't even tell if there's other modules on that one. Okay. I wish they would bring back the music. This room reminds me of Portal. Just creepy behind the scenes machinery, things on fire, the computer keeps talking to me. Wait, how do I... Oh. How do I sprint? I can't even use the controller to look at the controller keybinds. Um, oh, I can do, um, hotkey buttons for the different, I can change that, take picture, sprint. I swear I tried that, that's okay. There we go, now we know how to long jump. But that didn't really help us. Also, safe word question. Can you refill fire extinguishers? Have I asked that before? Oops, I messed that up. Controls would mysteriously swap buttons. That happened to me earlier on in my playthrough. Um... RT and LT swapped one time when I was playing off stream, just getting resources. It was very strange. I don't think you can, so I should probably just drop them. I don't want to waste all of this one on this corner. When I don't think there's going to be anything back there, you know? Oh, here's another one. Neat. So this one has 1%, 1%. Eighty-four, a hundred, a hundred. That's pretty good. I still don't think there's anything back there. Shall we go home? This is probably fine. Oh, there's another leech over there. We know how to take care of them now. This was the sea moth room. I can still scan the sea moth fragment. I think we're done here now? Who knows? Maybe we'll have to come back with the prom suit someday. Oh, I see you. Ha. Ha ha ha. There's probably another one in here. Oh, there is. Get it. Mission accomplished. Kill all leeches. <laughs> what a 
weird game. Is this something over here? No, that's just another giant hole breach. Oh, did you see that explosion coming out of the ceiling? That's just normal? That happens every second. The new normal. Oh, you can't sprint and hold the flashlight at the same time. I also don't know if you can sprint indefinitely. Oh, daylight! It's beautiful! I wish the sprint was a toggle, because it's really uncomfortable. I'll probably rebind that. It's super uncomfortable to hold down. You have to press left trigger and run with left- er, sorry. Left control stick at the same time. Let's go build a prawn suit. This place is disintegrating before my very eyes. We didn't see any any crab squid today yet. I thought for sure we were gonna see another one today. That's why I put it in the title. I guess we'll have to see him next time. Okay, quick save, and then we gotta make a make a run for it. Make a swim for it. There's other stuff we're supposed to scan here. We're getting creepy music. We're getting screen shake. Oh, I have my sea glide. Excited. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Chris. <laughs> Prawn suit with fire all around. Although I don't know how much more fire we'll see for a little bit. Do I need any lithium from down here? I don't think so. I think we're good at the moment. You know, that ended up being a very, what I thought was a huge sidetrack mission at first, was extremely productive. All it took was jumping. I wonder... So I think we... Thank you, Defiant. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I wonder what kind of fabricators we need. If we need to go back to the mobile vehicle bay. To make stuff, you know? Oh, we can do this now. Very cool. Engine efficiency now 300%.
And we have a storage module for our prawn suit once we make it. Wow. Yeah, I don't think we can build it here. I think we have to go back home. We're gonna... Put one of these not on the wall of the Defiant, I guess. And have one of these back home. Although it's, so, it's such a shame to not be able to have one on board. Let's decorate. Wow. Oh. Oh, no, that's not the same thing. It's a different background, but the same pose. Is this one gonna be the same? Yeah. Oh. This one needs a table. So does this. You can hang this on the wall. I guess this one we can put up at home, too. Alright, which way is home? Do I need to refill health or anything before we go back? No? We We're going home! Beep beep! Sold separately sounds like the prawn suit people are being awfully crabby with the goods. <laughs> building. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Just passing through. This was an eventful day. How far are we? 400 meters? We did a little bit of trial and error. Oh, this is like super shallow. With the ghost leviathans, we ran into trouble because I thought for sure there was stuff hidden. Oh, that's my mobile vehicle bay right there. Isn't it? No? What is that? What creature is that? I don't think it's anything new. It's just a bunch of the manatees at the surface. Sorry, got very distracted. And stalkers at the surface. I don't remember seeing so many creatures. Oh, hello. Swimming up on the shallows like that. Did I get myself stuck? I think so. Yeah. My bad. Wasn't paying attention. go repair uh, I want this one hmm. I forget where our favorite parking space is Am 
Not in the kelp. I'm going the wrong way. This is why I don't take this thing anywhere. Just take the sea moth, it's quicker. I don't want to go emergency speed and use all that power. And run into all these poor little manatees. And all this kelp. Weeeee! Bonk. Now I'm just straight up stuck. Eee! This is bad. No, we're gonna crash. Oh, I should have crashed. Did I crash? This is questionable. Very questionable. Okay, this looks like more of the... Yeah, this is my normal parking spot over here. I think. Or similar. This little canyon area? I don't heckin' know. I ran myself aground once? Oh my gosh, that is a nightmare. Heck no. Not messing with that. So, will... These... I have a dumb question. Will these not power up if the engine is powered down? Now I'm super confused on how the the recharger works. There's so many batteries. I feel like carrying around two is plenty. Uh, this we need to get rid of. And I guess I don't want to carry that around. I can take it back and get rid of it or store it on the at the base. Oh, I do have a spare power cell that I can use here. Um, yeah, that's safe word, Tay. You can explain that. I think we can make a couple more out of these ingredients, too. That's why I put them in storage there. Oh. Okay, you can be replaced there. That's fine. Let's go home. Oh, no worries, hey. I'm I'm sure I can figure it out. I don't think I th I think I'm overly worried about it. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, you, somebody can answer that if they know how like if I'm recharging the power cells wrong. We can put this here, maybe? Oh, not enough space between those two machines. Or the locker and the machine. Put it here. I actually don't have a table. We should make a little bar table. I can put my hat on the chair, but... I want to put it on a shelf or something. Anything on the sub will come from the power in the cells. Okay. Thank you. I don't think it loses energy. It's basically moving charge between power cells to do that. Weird. I 
I definitely thought I had somehow created something with an independent power source. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done that. We're making a table or a shelf or both. Let's make a little, oh, I don't have any glass. Let's make a little shelf. <laughs> Is there room for a shelf here? Oh, yes. Uh, how's my base integrity doing? I can't put this up on the shelf? What point is it to make a shelf if I can't put the stuff on it? Can I put anything on that? I mean, it looks cool, but... Uh, let's try here. Is it just because I put it so high up? Yeah. Now it's super low shelf. Oops. Can the hat turn forward? Please? And now the best poster. Oh, and I forgot about the doll. Aww. Aww. It's so homey now. Let's put our snack bar nutrient block in the snack bin. Um. Oh, I forgot we have another poster. So many posters. This one won't fit here. We'll put it here. Cool. It's like a movie theater in here. And... I guess I'll just go where's the best place to drop this off one of these is like an equipment locker you you can have this depth module and a couple extra safety packs Pronsu time? Let me refresh my memory of what I need. Oh, I'm. this is when I really need my notebook for a shopping list. Okay. Yep. Notebook is making an appearance. Lore emotes note emotes all around we're writing things down not like the big lockers can't be named say yeah i know it's such a disappointment i try my best to memorize because they are pretty well organized at least for my brain but i can't remember which one is which plasteel ingot do we have enough titanium to make a second ingot i saw we had one uh, that's times two. Aerogel times two. I know we have enough aero, whatever that material is to make those. Enameled glass. I went and got quartz last stream. I think I have a bunch. We just looked at it. Diamond times two. Lead times two. Oh, I just saw lead somewhere and didn't pick it up. It was in one of those life pods. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have enough to make an ingot. We need, I think, four lithiums. One, two, three, four for the plasteel ingot. Uh, lead. We've got plenty for this. 
then we've only got two quartz for a glass and then I think it's maybe two teeth for the enamel glass. I can't remember. I don't know how many gel sacks it takes to make arrow gel. But we're in pretty good shape. We need one of these. We need two of these. Do we already have some of these on the submarine? Probably. Oh, one of those was in storage and I didn't take it out. I forget how to make the... Oh, with Ruby. We need two gel sacks and two rubies. Rubies are in here? Yeah. We can put these back then. And I had an extra tooth. We need two aerogel. Oh, I don't think I remember to grab the diamonds either. It's a lot of ingredients. But I think that's the last thing I'm missing is the two diamonds. We've got lots of diamonds. Let's go. If I forgot something, if I was too hasty. I can never remember where my mobile vehicle bay is. Isn't it out here somewhere? Ooh. No, did I pack it up? Do I not have one because I have the moon pool now? No. I feel very silly. I feel like it was... Out... Hmm. Is it way over here? Oh, because it has to be in deeper water. I had to move it to make the submarine. That's why it's not where I remember. We'll find it. All this stuff is gone from my hotbar. Where are you? Did I drive the Defiant into it? And destroy it? It doesn't have a beacon attached to it. And this is the life pod. Is it in an inventory somewhere? I guess I can go look. This is really, I just don't know where I put my Welcome aboard, Captain. mobile vehicle bay? But why would I store it? I never remember the order of those. Is this a, <laughs> is this a dumb dilemma? Should I not be having this dilemma? Here, let's save really quick after all that building, though. 
Modification station. Nothing docked. Can you dock your prawn suit here? Alright. I don't know. Safe word, help me find my mobile vehicle bay? Did I crash into it? Where is it? Is it out here? Is this it? Oh my gosh, it's so far away. I didn't remember it being that far. It's on the surface, yeah. <laughs> and then the only- the launch platform is available if we want to make that. I kind of do, I want to see what happens. We need more titanium. And computer chips are a pain to make. Let's make the prawn suit first. Normal one first, piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will huh. have to make do with self-discipline. Wow. Oh, it's sinking. It's sinking really fast. Hi, nice to meet you. Here, I can add the storage thing already. Power cell. Oh, it already comes with storage? Open upgrades. Oh, it's right here. I don't know, that's the only one I, I have. Torpedoes, we gotta put torpedoes on it. Welcome aboard, Captain. It comes with... I don't know what's on the... Hot bar. Hello? Excuse me? Little grabby arm. Now we have, okay, now we have jetpack controls. I gotta learn how this works. I gotta learn what all the buttons do. Uh, that's pretty much it. Left grabby arm, right grabby arm, sink and float, sort of. Surface and sink. I'm wondering if we can go and use the moon pool with this thing or no? Oh, oh, rip. Cool. Which button's for morph ball? Yeah. It needs a morph. Huh. And now we can charge it here. Let's go- alright, that was really fun. Let's go on a casual titanium gathering mission. Because we're gonna need a lot for the launch pad. And let's discuss. What else are we going to need to do? Get the other blueprints for the rest of the pieces of the rocket. We still have so many alien facilities to find. We still need to continue looking for depth modules. Oh wow, that's a lot of stalker teeth. Don't mind if I do. Hello. I just wanted your teeth, but not like that. Um, 
I don't there's so many in ingredients for the next I think the next depth module that I didn't know how to get so I still don't know how to get to like 1200 feet which is where the next alien facility is okay salt is good we don't have a lot of salt back home Silver is always good. Well, we were supposed to be looking for metal salvage. There's some. Um, yeah. never used a grav trap. We found those. That was one of the first things we ever scanned and I've never I've never used one. Getting some oxygen. Oh this is about to run out of power. Salvage down here. What's in here? Seems safe. I think we've done this trip before. Is this where the Mesmers live? I think we might have gone in there last stream. Aw, inventory's already full. Uh, I'll just use this. Oh, I didn't mean to drop it. I wanted to use it. Some of this was just restocking. I don't really need all these stalker teeth, but here, here, sure. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I think I'm just gonna make the platform, the launch platform, and then we'll end street. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to want to do next time. Based on everything we've learned. Proof that the Tooth Fairy is an alien. <laughs> I like that. So now, what was in this recipe again? computer chip and four lead. Do we have that? Oh, two, three, four, barely. I don't know. Because I don't have enough silver. There might be enough in the Cyclops. We need this. I know I can never remember how many. But the silver is for the wiring kit. Oh, I skipped it. It's up here. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm thinking of Oh, I get so confused. Okay, copper. 
put everything else back. I was thinking advanced wiring kit. Just need, we do need the gold. Maybe just two, I can't remember. I just looked at it and then we need copper. It just takes one gold, but two table coral. Draining my supplies. when I make this thing. I better save before I do it. What was that? It looks so funny with the little legs of the prawn suit sticking out from the moon pool. That looks silly. Okay, are we ready for a launch pad? It's huge! Makes sense. This is gonna block my path when I'm trying to drive the Cyclops around? Probably. Wow, it's beautiful. I should have done this in the daytime. I can barely see it. Splash. I built something so I can build another something. Hello. Hello, my builder companions. Plasteel. We can make all this. The gantry is plasteel, ingot, copper wire, and lubricant? Oh, I want to make that too because I want to know what supplies I need for the rocket. I don't have- I still have to get more, um, titanium though, I think. Do I have a spare beacon? No. Plus steel ingot. I'm writing this down. I know I shouldn't just be sitting here. Copper wire lubricant. Building during the night means getting to see a night. A nice sunrise? Yeah. Definitely. It's near your main storage of supplies. Yeah. Yeah, I've kept everything really close to the life pod to my benefit and detriment because sometimes this has been a huge pain but I don't know we make it work Welcome aboard, Captain. thank you only got four of these left I don't need to take them let's do this and I should have this already yeah
What was that noise? Oh, it's just part of the music. I love this little doll. It's very cute. Okay, this has... The stalkers are attacking my base. This has a uh, icon, so that's good. I can find the mobile vehicle bay that way. It doesn't need its own beacon. Looking for metal scrap yet again. Where was this music earlier when my game was silent today? Ah, here. Hello! Don't mind me! <laughs> uh, did I get them all? I don't know. I see more teeth than anything else these days. I've picked up all the scrap metal. I know that's not true. I guess I could use the scanner to pinpoint where it is. I found the scanners to be the scanning room to be helpful for a couple of super specific things, and most of the time it's just not that helpful. <laughs> but getting the HUD upgrade was good. Because I've used that to just pick up little things around the base. Oh, hi! Do you have a collection of metal around here somewhere? No? We're getting kind of far away. Aha! Probably all I need. Oh look, a sea moth piece. It's the stalker napping the titanium out from under me. I still think we got a lot. That was pretty funny though. They were fighting each other over the titanium pieces. Hi! I like scanning bits I already had, a nice way to get bits of titanium. Usually... Yeah. I forgot that, that it gives you titanium. Usually when I see one and I'm out and about, I don't scan it because I need... I'm like full on inventory, I'm usually looking for something else. But if I'm looking for titanium, it always gives you titanium. I think always. I don't think it gives you anything else. Refilled on that. We need... Lithium again, which I'm running really low on now. Yeah, bummer. Okay, let's go check this out. I don't think I ever saw anybody working on a rocket ship or building this platform when I watched somebody play. I've only seen a little bit of this game and I definitely didn't see this. Gantry. 
These helper bots are gonna help me build it. Okay. Oh my god. Intense. I think mainly I've, I had just seen people's bases. If I saw bits of the game being played. People's bases and people swimming around looking for bladder fish and water and things to eat. <laughs> like pretty early game too. Call elevator. Activate elevator. Okay, let's save. Wait, before I go up there, is there a new something else unlocked here? Or is there a building platform up there? We're gonna go up there and look around. Boosters. Class steel, ingot, nickel, ore. Oh, right, we have to make the three stages. Aerogel wiring kit. Nickel is a lot harder than everything else. But we can't leave. We have to cure ourselves. We're gonna get shot down if we try to leave. Like, this is fun to build and all. I wonder if you build too much if they come after your launch pad and tear it down. up here nothing I can see my habitat from here I can see this cloud around this is this the defense platform island and this is the Degazi survivors island maybe I'm not sure what all these clouds are Neptune 1. Can I rename it? <laughs> I don't need this beacon right now. Beacon 2 is one of the islands. Let's get a sense of where we are. This helps my sense of direction so much. Yeah, that's the Degazi Survivors Island. I wonder if See, those clouds, I think, are moving. I remember trying to swim towards clouds once because I knew that the clouds kind of covered the islands like this, but the I picked the wrong one and they just kept moving and moving across the ocean and it kept changing my direction. And then this is the defense platform. Yeah, okay. All right. Progress. Thank you for watching my Subnautica journey. I will be starting below zero on my Twitch channel on Sunday, June 19th at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you to my Kofi supporters for June, House of Paul, Adam Extreme, Grey They, Oracle the Great, Semi-Cortex, Toon Wolf, and 8-Bit Trap. I appreciate your support, and I'll catch you in the next video.